And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor and today I'm looking at some more Amplitude stuff. So a few people have asked me to check out some of the Orange amps and I haven't really checked them out. I've kind of had a quick look at some of it before, but I haven't really checked it out yet. So I thought let's do that together. So uh, basically this is what happens when you start Amplitude. You get to the default setting and then uh, it, actually also full disclosure, um, the people at IK Multimedia while my neighbor just started to mow the lawn, great timing. Uh, the people at IK Multimedia have given me full access to this. So basically this is um, uh, Amplitude 5 Max that I've got. I've got everything that is possibly available. You don't need all of it. You can just buy things amp by amp. But let's look at, at the uh, Orange collection. So you go to Amplitude Collections um, and here Amplitude Orange. And here's just a bunch of presets. And I thought, let's have a look at the presets and then maybe make up a sound that I like myself. So I'm going to start off right up the top, 80-30 clean. Um, so these are the officially licensed by Orange um, plugins. Uh, I'm using, as a guitar today, I'm using this Greco um, from 1978. It's quite an old Greco. Uh, that if I've done the video of it yet, there may be a video of it here, like a quick story about it. Uh, but I'm using these Fishman Fluence Classic humbuckers, uh, which I really like. I really dig this guitar at the moment, so that's why I'm using it. Um, big thank you to the people, Ken and everyone at Fishman, for sending these out to me. Um, yeah, uh, so let's just try it out. So basically, I'm going from this directly into my ID44 uh, interface by audience, uh, into the high Z or high Z or DI input. So here's called DI up the front, DI input. I actually did a video about impedance and all that stuff with high Z, low Z, or high Z, low Z or line level versus mic level, all that sort of stuff. Watch that video, it's linked below as well. So I'm going straight into the interface and then straight into Amplitube. Um, and with Amplitube turned off, just this direct sound is this. Okay, let's turn this on and see what this... The only thing I usually do is I turn the volume down a little bit because it tends to be quite loud for me, the presets, and these tips tend to clip things. So. 80, 30, clean. That's definitely clean. So we've got a orange two by 12 cabinet with a 412, 414 and a 57. Um, no effects or nothing. Sounds pretty cool. Let's Turn the gain up a bit. And the master down a bit. So it's a fairly clean amp. That I know very little about orange. I'm quite intrigued by orange. I would like to get an orange, but uh, I never really used orange much other than maybe plugged into one in a shop or something like that. So 8030 must be a fairly clean amp. Um, okay, let's just quickly go through some of the presets and then make a sound up ourselves. So the next one, uh, orange uh, 8030 drive 4x10 Ooh, with a 4x10 cabinet. I like 4x10 cabinets. Again, turn that down a bit. That sounds great. really good I like that a lot um, with the gain almost cranked it oh and there's a pedal there that's blacked out so that's off diode distortion I like that a lot. So maybe that's one we'll muck around with later to get the, um, to make my own sound. So, so far, I like that. 8030 plus OD. That looks like the same thing just with the overdrive. But that's the 2x12. I think I like that. That's got less gain. So it's more just that overdrive. I like, preferred that one before. Uh, I can 
uh, with this knob done here, if I pull that out, it's meant to go to a true single coil, so... Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that sound. Okay, next one. You can just also, actually let's just do that. You can just click on that and go to the next preset. So this is a dual terra drive, right? So instead of going doing this and going from that to the next one, let's just click here and then it goes. So dual terra drive, I'm always gonna turn that volume down a little bit, a little bit more. Again, I think I much prefer the 410 and what's that? That's a Ribbon 160 and a MD1B. Uh, that's again almost all the way up. Oh, hang on, this tiny Terra channel, fat channel. What channel am I on? Tiny Terra channel, okay. It's a lot of bottom end. Let's go to the fat channel. Probably prefer the fat channel. There's a there's a, like a bottom end rumble in there. Okay, next. Woo, dual terra drive. So this uses a most likely 4x12, yes. Now that sounds better, that sounds great. Maybe a little bit more volume. So that's a fat channel with the gain all the way up. I like that, dual terra drive. Next, dual terra, two cabs. Ah, okay. So one of the cool things in Amplitube is you've got massive splitting options. You can even go to three cabinets and have like a wet, dry, wet kind of thing. But so we're going to two cabinets. One is a two by 12 mic'd with a 414 and a 57. The other one, ah, okay. And we do, one is in a, like a booth, so really dead. The other one is in a more live kind of room, uh, which is, this, I think, the same 4x12? The same 2x12? Yeah, it's the same 2x12. But this one's mic'd with two condenser 87s. I think I much prefer the fat channel. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> wow. That's bright. So that the other speakers, it sounds much better in the 4x12. Oh, again, there's like that low end rumble there. This, um, well, let's see. Next one. Uh, OR50. Now, so one of the amps I would really like to get is the OR15. I heard a lot about it and I have just enough space down here to fit it in because I think it's the same size as the that Ibanez amp. Um, so I guess this is the similar sort of thing, just bigger than OR50. And again, a 2x12 with a 57 and a 414. See, I think this what is it like a PP, PPC or something like that? PPC 4x12. That's the one. Let's try that. See, straight away I like it much better. Um, let me move that one a bit further away. Can you move it back more? Yes. Not 
sure if I like the 2x12 cabinets, the orange 2x12 cabinets, but with the 4x12 it sounds great. I like those hieroglyphics, you've got a fist, what does a fist do? It's a punch, I don't know. It's kind of maybe gain. That's definitely gain. And then it's top, middle, and lows. Uh, if I pull this knob out, it actually so it turns from a PAF to a more like a JB kind of like a boosted PAF. It's a lot of bottom end. Fifty is good. I like fifty lead first. Back to normal PA. Twenty Brits, two cabs. Okay. Oh, and this is that switch. So you got different frequency settings. I like how it's all beaten up, and there's this like a, almost like a sticker over it or something. <laughs> So it's a lows and a high, it's hertz and kilohertz. High frequency, high, is that what it is? High frequency drive. Ah, so it's like a top boost, a presence. Like. That's what the fist means. Hang on, middle. Boost to pick up again. That's good. So that's probably my second favorite so far. Uh, that's using that same 4x12 with 287 condensers and one. Oh, and the other one has an 87 and a 414. Interesting. That's good. I like that. Back to normal PAF. Cool. So, so far, I gotta say, I like um, the Drive 4x10 and the Brits 2 Cab. That's my two favorites. OR 120 Crunch. no volume oh is this well no it doesn't there's a no master volume amp okay cool uh next Ooh, that sounds loud rock verb 50 lead So 
So what do we have here? There's lots of stuff going on. So we've got that rocker verb. We have a seven band graphic. We've got a compressor and an overdrive. Let's turn all that stuff off and see what happens. <laughs> Gets rid of some of that fizz. Very honky. What does a compressor do? Just balances it out nicely and the diode. Just a bit extra gain. Delay pedal uh, and a two by twelve. Let's let's just make that that four by twelve. I like the four by twelve. That's a cool sound. I like that. Um, okay, next. Rock of Verb 50 soft solo. Ooh, so we, ooh, with a 4x12 and a 2x12. Wow, there's a lot of reverb there because there's hardly on. <laughs> Huge amount of gain in that ambi stuff. There he is. <laughs> okay. Sounds cool. So with the 4x12, with the two 87s, and an 87 and a 414. Four, four, four. Um, so they, I don't know, must like that particular mic. Um, okay, uh, next. Thunderverb 200 Brit Crunch. Okay. Delay on. Um, channel A by the looks of it. Let's go to channel B. Oh, channel B must be the clean one. Okay, channel A. I like that. Okay, next. Ooh. 
Thunder Verb 200 Metal. Okay, well, let's do the heavier upper pickups for that. Yeah. There's a delay there. That sounds cool. Okay, next. Tiny Terra High Gain 2 Cab. That sounds great. And there's a delay too. Let's turn a delay on. Terra Strong. How many more are there? Holy moly, there's a lot of... Oh, only two more. Okay. Tiny Terra Strumming. Let's strum some Tiny Terra. Ooh, this is in a 1 by 10. 1 by 12, I guess. Yep, okay, let's send an EQ on. Cool. And lastly, wow, triple orange. Okay, now that's cool. So we've got, this is again, the cool thing with amplitude, you can completely split the signal. So we're splitting it into three amps. The one in the middle has a chorus by the looks of it. Um, and the one in the middle has some room sounds. Okay, so yeah, um, cap two, this one, is all panned to the left with a bit of room sound. Cap three is all panned to the right. And cap one is in the middle. So you get like massive, let's, let's see, that could sound good. Yeah, that sounds cool. Let's turn that chorus off. Send a reverb down a bit on this. Do these have re any reverb? No. So the three different, completely different amps. That sounds great.
So let's say, uh, for example, let's do make this is one of the ones that's kind of uh, where I'm kind of making up my own sound, right? So let's go to distortions and put a distortion in front of it. So what about... Uh, what about the ambassador, like a um, Marshall tube screen, uh, uh, Marshall, what's it called? Um, governor. before we split, so this is in front of all the amps. I'm clipping things, and let's turn the reverb completely off. Let's go dry on that. Push to pick up uh, with the higher up. It's a bit um, heavy on the mids because it's orange. Um. That sounds killer. That's a great sound. that it's loud but I like that now what about if we now let's see if we can make this kind of like a wet dry wet kind of thing so let's find uh, that'd be up above delay wouldn't it yeah delay let's put uh, let's put the echo man let's put one here in the effects loop here and let's put another one in the effects loop here ah yes <laughs> But now they're both running at the same thing, so we've got to edit, yes. Uh. I can mostly hear that one. Why can't I hear the other one? So what's happening with this amp? Ah, oh, because that's a mini speaker. Okay, let's turn a tiny Terra 1x12 into a 4x12 into this one. So if we go in now, I want to hear amp 2. Let's go to cap, I mean cap 2. It's solo cap 2. Oh, that's the one I'm hearing. That's the one on the left. Okay, I want to go to the one on the right. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Uh, that one let's solo that one yeah that's very quiet isn't it compared to the others uh, let's bring the if I do the master is that for all of it that's for all of it yeah um, so with this let's see if we can go to the actual amp and just oh no this doesn't have a um, uh, volume because that's very quiet so what we need to do is we need to Crank the volume on those a bit more. And maybe if we go to cap two, drop the volume a bit on those. So now what we've got to do is we've got to go to these and so that one's set to quarter notes dotted and let's go to this one and that one is set to quarter notes so we want to set this to I don't know uh, here.
That's more like it. Let's go to eighth, dot, dotted eighth and dotted quarters. No, that doesn't quite work, does it? Let's go to, yeah, eighth. And then the other one shouldn't be dotted either. So with that, the other one we need to go to quarters. Cool, let's do that. And then let's unsolo these. So we hear the whole thing. <laughs> Can I hear that one more than the other one? That's right, because it's a wet draw wet, we've got to bring the blend all the way up. down generally a bit. I guess sort of a wet dry wet. Uh, let's very quickly, just because it's was still I think one of my favourite one out of other than this one, the dry four by ten. Let's go to that one because I think that sounded really cool. <laughs> So with it, that's a killer sound. Uh, with that, so for example, let's do here now. After this, it's bringing I don't know, like a reverb. Uh, uh, inverse uh, must be like a reverb. Uh, like go like a nice plate, and let's put that right at the end again after everything. Pre-delay, a bit of modulation. Uh, you know, 
now what I would really like is a tremolo. So let's go back to pedals. Uh, <clears throat> where are we? Dynamics. No, it won't be dynamics. EQ filter, fuzz, modulation. It'll be there somewhere, wouldn't it? Uh, opto tremolo. Is that harmonic tremolo? Maybe this one. Let's have a look what this one does. <laughs> What's the opto tremolo like? Let's try that one out. I like that one. Um. are there too. if we move this into the effects loop. Anyway, I mean, I could play around for hours with this, uh, but that is sort of a quick, not so quick, 40 minute long look at um, the orange amps on Amplitube. Uh, if you want me to run through any particular model, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you, there's any other sort of groups, I'll try to kind of go through a whole bunch of these sort of groups, just run through presets and, and do a few sounds with them. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, um, hit the notification bell to know when new videos come out. There's always, every second day we release a new video. So uh, make sure you do that. Uh, big thank you to Ken and all the awesome people at Fishman for these lovely pickups. I, I really dig this guitar at the moment. Um, Big thank you to the awesome people at IK Multimedia for uh, pretty much letting me have free reign with all the Amplitude stuff. Um, yeah, and see you next time. Bye.